Naturalization. There's no chain on the door. I could step back, pulling it toward me, barely missing my nose. He could push it, flooring me with a combo of force and audacity. Our instant agreement, a give and take in the eyes, to pretend there is a chain would be prodigious, even if we knew each other far better than we do. Sleep's door, swollen by moisture, humid coffee, won't close tonight. So I create a boy struggling not to look like Justin Timberlake. He pokes his index slash pistol barrel into the crack. Pow! He whispers with each shot. Damn! When he misses the passers-by, all of whom but one don't notice him. The one that does notice doesn't understand a Timberlake lookalike's poor marksmanship has spared whatever good, bad, or neutral act he's heading for. There was a time I could have slipped through this eye of a needle. Now only a steady diet of speed or cancer would make me that skinny. I have an aunt whose eye surgery makes her see everything in long, thin slices, eliminating the need for squinting doors. She knows lips can't kiss here, but breath can. She suspects a hand that doesn't go much deeper than the wrist is the tenderest hand. I had two encounters with a half-open door today, First, my trip to the mailbox was postponed by a sloppy-looking woman coming up the sidewalk with a dog, a stroller, a suitcase on wheels, a little red wagon. You and I, my love, have this in common, so fast, so involuntary, like a leash yanking us back to anonymity. I wonder if, like me, you're embarrassed at the thought that the stranger has seen your retreat. I'll have to ask you. After supper, a ring was followed by a Gestapo loud knock. The census taker I'd been dodging for weeks got me. We stood shivering at the threshold, she tapping her answers on a tablet, glowing in the dusk, freezing momentarily twice. Domestic partner, I said, as though signing my name for a package. And his name, his DOB, his birthplace, his employer, the date of his naturalization. She asked so blandly I wanted to hug her. This blandness I write about over and over, Readers may tire of it, but I swear to you, my love, my country, future census takers, I never, never will. I'm wild again, beguiled again, a whimpering, simpering child again. Bewitched, bothered, and bewildered am I. I would not sleep and could not sleep. Till love came and told me I should not sleep Bewitched, bothered and bewildered Am I lost my heart? So what of it? He was cold, I agree He could laugh and I love it though the laughs on me. I'll sing to him each spring to him and long for the day when I'll fling to him bewitched, bothered and bewildered. Am I?